Subscribe this channel. Mercedes has euthanized the M-Class. Sort of. At least the name is dead. Last year, the third generation M-Class, aka the ML, was redecorated and rechristened the GLE. The M-Class name was worth shedding. Mercedes-Benz's M-Class SUV always seemed like a sop to the US market. Almost two decades ago, it arrived as an amorphous blob on 16-inch wheels that was developed reluctantly and marketed half sincerely with an appearance in the first Jurassic Park sequel. It was Mercedes playing at an American game it hadn't fully embraced, not quite a truck but not a station wagon, either. It was one of the first crossovers as we know them now, but back then it seemed like a disingenuous attempt to horn in on the hot selling Ford Explorer's action. The Explorer that was featured in the original Jurassic Park. More Mercedes than before. This year, the GLE 400 Formatic gets Mercedes 329 horsepower 3.0 liter twin turbo V6. The new engine helps the GLE drive, feel, and look more like a real, honest to Stuttgart Mercedes than any M Class ever did. That's true even though it's assembled. As the ML always has been, at a planet near Vance, Alabama. More like, however, is it the same as is? This refreshed Mercedes still doesn't seem to have its whole heart in this market segment. The renaming wasn't particular to this model but part of a larger scheme to establish a rough harmony between Benz's traditional sedan and SUV lines. Basically, the SUVs are now branded as GL, with the third letter indicating each model's position in the size hierarchy. So the GLE is bracketed between the smaller GLA and GLC, previously the GLA, and the larger GLS, formerly the GL. And, no surprise, the GLE 400's twin turbo V6 also is offered in the E-Class sedan and seems destined to spread throughout the MV range as a fuel stingy.